Well, got right here another very fine example of showing the fact that Hinduism is pretty much no different than Islam. See, the, the Hindus over in India and the Muslims over in Pakistan, they're pretty much just the same thing, two sides of the same coin. And this example right here proves that. So it turns out that there's this, these Hindus that have put up posters demanding that non-Hindu traders are banned near this uh, temple premises. And this isn't the first time that non-Hindus uh, have been you know, persecuted in India in recent times, but this is just yet another example of that. And it's no different than how you know, non-Muslims are banned from certain parts in Saudi Arabia or everything else. Yeah, it's no different. Two sides of the same coin, Islam and Hinduism. But it says here on Hindutva Watch, uh, and by the way, Hindutva, it's the same thing with Islam. The Muslim extremists are not extremists. They're just Muslims. And the Hindu extremists are not extremists. They're just Hindus. But it says here, uh, uh, Karnata, Karnata, how do you say that, that name? Hindutva groups uh, erect poster demanding no, no non-Hindu traders near the temple premises. You know, no different than what you would see in any Muslim country uh, prohibiting where non-Muslims go. No different. Again, two sides of the same coin. But it says here on the article, uh, Hindu Jana Jagaram, how you say it, uh, Vid-like, uh, Vidig, how you say it, has erected a poster in front of the Koki Shri, it basically is Hindu temple, I'm not even going to bother saying it, uh, Hindu temple in um, Dashim, Dash, Dakish, whatever, uh, again, I'm not going to bother. Uh, the uh, district asking non-Hindu shopkeepers to refrain from setting up stalls for the upcoming festival, temple festival, Kampa Shashat, whatever, uh, that falls on November 29th. According to the right-wing organization, Hindus uh, are not being treated well in, in the uh, current scenario, uh, taking the recent sh uh, sh Shraddha, whatever, uh, basically this murder case, where she was murdered and chopped to 35 pieces by her partner. The organization feels it is best that there is no non-Hindu stalls near the temple premises. Uh, it says it, the Sassiat, however, got in touch with the temple's executive officer in charge, who said they are not responsible for any poster. The poster is erected around uh, one kilometer away from the temple premises. We do not hold any responsibility, the officer said. When asked about the plan to allow non about if they plan to allow non-Hindu traders to set up their shops and stalls during the temple time, the officer said that they were following the Karna Karnataka Hindu religious institutions and charitable endowments rules 2002. So they're kind of be very oblivious on the matter but continuing on in the article I'm just not good at reading things on a computer so just bear with me it, it, it kind of gives me a bit of eye strain but it says here on the article the uh, Karna, Karnataka Hindu religious institutions and charitable endowments rule 2002 only allows Hindu traders to set up stalls and shops during any community or temple festivals thus banning non-Hindus and it gives where the article was originally posted but just showing that Hindu India is basically no different than Muslim Pakistan because there's certain parts where non-Hindus are banned just like other certain parts where non-Muslims are banned. See again, it's just two sides of the same uh, bloodthirsty barbaric Luciferian coin. See the Ishmaelite spirituality of Islam and it's, I guess you could say older cousin uh, Hinduism, you know, one and the same. Again, two sides of the same Luciferian coin. And not, it's not surprising too when you look at it, the thing of of there are, uh, is some evidence that suggests that the uh, Mecca was has some Hindu connections. So you know Islam has a bit of roots in Hinduism when you really get down to it. But it's a bit of a side issue. There are also practices of Islam that are similar to that of Hinduism. So these Hindus in India just further show that Hinduism is every bit as barbaric, bloody, and violent, and uh, authoritarian too, and also just overall uh, satanic as Islam. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren, and don't be deceived by this media narrative that, oh, it's a, it's a uh, pluralistic, peaceful religion. Well, you may have individual Western Hindus who believe that way, but uh, Hinduism in its truest uh, form is what we just read right now, just like same thing with Islam. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.